Well, this is our post-fight Mayweather Ortiz video. Nathan, what were your thoughts on the fight up until the point of the knockout? <laughs> Mayweather was my dominating fight. Well, your scorecard didn't say that though. Here's what the well, we had. We were keeping scorecards. I had given. And it's not because I'm a Mayweather fan, which I am a Mayweather fan, but I had given Mayweather every round. I felt he had narrowly won the first two, and he was he clearly won the third round, and he was clearly on his way to winning the fourth. Nathan had given the first round to Ortiz. Uh, the second round, he made an even round, and then the third round, he gave to Mayweather. So he had it completely even, and I'm pretty sure he was probably scoring the fourth for Mayweather. Well, I mean, let's clear things up. I don't know shit. I don't know anything about boxing scoring. I, I, it's not hard to tell is. that Mayweather was winning, though. Mayweather was winning the fight, uh, as far as the fight is concerned. Well, I'm going to say this. I'm, we'll talk about the headbutt and everything later. But first off, you see you see Mayweather come out, and you're kind of you're kind of worried. I was kind of worried. I was like, oh, is he going to be rusty? You know, all these questions. Comes out, immediately starts going on the attack. He stands his ground. He doesn't run. He, uh, he comes out, goes into his shoulder roll, starts doing his thing immediately. There's almost no ring rust in there. Uh, he looks fast. He looks sharp. And, well, Ortiz, you know, it was a pretty close round. I mean, I, I could see the Ortiz getting the first round. Just not much happened because Mayweather doesn't, he doesn't usually try to win the first round. He tries to see, you know, where you're going to be coming from, what punches you're going to be throwing, and et cetera. So he tries, to, he tries to learn what you're doing so he can adapt in the later rounds and figure out a strategy to beat you. He, de he does a strategy on the fly. He doesn't do a game plan. He has a strategy when he gets in the ring. Uh, Second round, I thought Mayweather started to clearly take it, take control in that round. Uh, he was starting to land that straight right hand down the pipe, just time and time again. At the end, I mean, you you showed they showed a highlight highlight reel after the second round, and you saw Mayweather just landing clean right hands all in that second round. So I gave the second round to Mayweather. Uh, and Ortiz, he was throwing shots, but it was kind of like the Oscar De La Hoya fight. He'd get Mayweather on the ropes, but he couldn't hit him. All he hit was all he would hit was shoulders and elbows. And Mayweather would roll the shots off and then come back with counter punches. You can't you can't score for f someone flailing shots at someone and not hitting them. I, in my opinion, uh, that's not effective aggressiveness. That's aggressiveness, but it's not effective aggressiveness. And uh, third, the third round clearly Mayweather. He I mean he was in full control by the third round. That fight, I hate to say it, but even if Victor Ortiz would have got up in the fourth round, I think Mayweather would have finished him in like the ninth or tenth round. He was. He was starting to land very, very clean right hands and left hooks. Nathan made a prediction in the second, the second round. He said, you're going to watch. He's going to start throwing that left hook when he comes out of that clinch. And, and sure enough, Ortiz kept circling to the right, and he kept running right into Mayweather's left hook. And then when he'd get hit with the left hook, Mayweather would follow up with a straight right hand down the pipe, uh, which that's the best combination against a southpaw, in my opinion. Uh, but in the, anyways, in the third round, Mayweather was just not getting hit and hitting accurately. He was he was clearly in control of the fight. In the fourth round, Mayweather starts off by teeing off on Victor Ortiz with a humongous punch combination. I mean, just punch, 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 punch. I, I haven't seen him throw punches like that since like a lightweight. He just he never throws combinations like that anymore. And uh, he was clearly looking for the knockout. And then you see you see Victor Ortiz put him on the ropes and Mayweather nullifies his inside game by putting his putting his elbow up. Not his elbow, but his forearm. He doesn't use his elbow, he uses his forearm. And he and Victor Ortiz got mad. Mayweather was had his left hand out here. His right hand was up against Mayweather's forearm. And and Ortiz the thing about an unintentional headbutt, usually you'll get it when someone comes in, say they're coming in weaving like this and they throw it and their head accidentally scrapes your eyeball. That's an unintentional headbutt. An intentional headbutt is when you're holding still like Victor Ortiz was and you literally just rear down and jump up, leap into someone's face. That's an intentional headbutt. Mayweather did not do a cheap shot. Victor Ortiz took a cheap shot because he was starting to he was starting to lose control of that fight. And uh, Mayweather had every right to do what he did. He didn't even he didn't do anything dirty. Uh, Ortiz uh, Cortez, the referee took the point away for the for the intentional headbutt. Then they, you know, Mayweather and him you kind of shook hands, hugged or whatever. And then Victor Ortiz, for some reason, tried to hug Mayweather again. And Mayweather took advantage. He hit him with a left hook right hand. Mayweather doesn't owe Ortiz another hug. He's there to fight. He's looking, I mean, if, you leave, if you're going to sit there with your hands down, you, you're going to pay the price. Mayweather made him pay the price. If that would have been Pacquiao, no one would be saying shit. Just saying. No one would have said anything if that would have been Pacquiao. 
it's because it was Mayweather that everyone's gonna start talking shit, especially Larry Merchant. Larry Merchant can suck my dick. He's like, for example, that is a cheap shot. <laughs> but I mean, if we Ortiz had just been fighting said for three Ortiz fight, was sitting there. You know, Ortiz knew he fucked up. You could tell right after, right after you know they were sitting down there and his eyes were all water. You could tell he was he knew he fucked up. Then Larry Merchant tries to twist it around and he and Ortiz was like, yeah, you know, the referee told me to break and I was just doing what the ref. The ref wasn't even looking at you, dude. The ref told y'all to break. Y'all broke and hugged. And, the <laughs> and then you resume boxing. He, the ref was talking to the judges about the point. Of yeah, the ref, the ref was looking over at the judge table telling them to take the point away. <laughs> he wasn't talking to Victor Ortiz. I mean, you can clearly see it by the footage. He's not even looking at the fighters. And Mayweather didn't even have to hug or, uh, Ortiz. He, he just did that. You know, he's like, okay, okay, we'll touch up gloves and go on. And Ortiz wants to touch gloves again. I mean, if that had been me, I'd have done the same thing. Nailed him right. I mean, Mayweather was angry. I mean, he, and he could have done something a lot worse than that, to be honest. I mean, that was not unsportsmanlike. You you protect yourself at all times. You keep your hands up. If your hands are down, you're going to get hit. <laughs> That's true. You, Ortiz, I mean, that, that, it's Ortiz's fault. That, that was in no way Mayweather's fault. I, I mean, you can't you cannot say that was Mayweather's fault. How is it not fair? Because Ortiz had his hands down. Roy Jones kept his hands down. You know, if you're going, if you're stupid enough to keep your hands down, you're stupid enough to get hit. When the ref breaks and you touch gloves with someone, if they offered, I mean, they, he didn't even have to touch gloves with him. He did that out of courtesy, and then he hit him. You know, if you're not, if you're not gonna put your hands up, Mayweather's gonna hit you, dude. I, I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> when it comes down to, it, I don't even think people are gonna latch on to that being a cheap shot because. If you look at the fight, Mayweather, I mean, Mayweather is the adaptive fighter. Mayweather is the one that, once he figures he's somebody smart. out. He's smart. He's a tactician. He's the one that's going to figure somebody out. And if he can figure them out and, and do anything like he did in the fourth round and oh, coming I'm after the third, in the late, late third round, if he can do anything like that, then you know he's going to win the fight. The rest of the fight is going to be his. Because and it's going to get more and more one-sided. What other fighter is adaptive like Mayweather? Is Ortiz adaptive like Mayweather anywhere close? No. There's no other fighter. Maybe Sergio Martinez. Maybe Sergio Martinez. Maybe. So people aren't gonna la- I think people are going to latch on and maybe say something about him being inexperienced and give that as an example of why he's inexperienced. Let me tell you something. I used- Let me just tell you something. That's what people are going to say. Ortiz has had, what, 30-something professional fights? What, is that what it said? 33, 35 professional fights? He knows by now that when the ref says break, you put- you're ready to box. You don't expect someone to hug you. You get ready to box. Mayweather is all business when he gets in that ring. He doesn't care. I mean, and it, that, that's not unfair. That's that. I mean, you can say it's unfair, but it's not. That he, he did not break any rules by doing what he did. Ortiz broke a rule, and that's why he was ducked to the point. Mayweather didn't get the duck to the point. The ref, I mean, that's not a cheap shot. A head, when you headbutt someone, you get a point deducted. When you hit someone, knock them down, that's a knockout. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I can show you video clips of other fighters doing the same exact thing, and none of them got criticized. Because they're not, everyone... Because they're not undefeated. I mean, the fact of the matter is, one may they're undefeated, and he is the best in debate that. He's the best in the sport. I'm going to go ahead and say this. If I'm, since he's up there, he, he receives hate for anything. Yeah. And it's understandable, because everybody has to be the one in the top. Especially if it's not the one they want to be in the top. Well, everyone's, you know, riding Pacquiao, and I believe Pacquiao's a great fighter. But I'll tell you this, if him and Mayweather fight, it won't even be close. It'll wind up just about like Victor Ortiz did. I mean, you got to understand something. Like Nathan was saying, Mayweather adapts. Pacquiao is a one-note tune. He does the same thing every fight. Watch watch his fights. Watch Mayweather's fights. You will not see one fight that's the same. He does things similar, but he, he changes up little bitty things that make a big difference. Like when he's fighting Ortiz, he starts off the fight immediately throwing a straight right, rolling under Ortiz's left. He catches on to that immediately. Then he stops doing it because he realizes he doesn't have to. <laughs> I mean, he eliminates little things. Pacquiao, he's going to come in there. He's going to give you a double jab left hand, maybe a right hook left hand. Mayweather catch on to that and right uh, around with you. Right hook, bro, like a Freaky hat and stomach. Anyway, but, you know, for my prediction for Pacquiao Mayweather, it's Mayweather by mid to late TKO. It's not Mayweather by decision. It's Mayweather by probably knockout. Mayweather has serious power, and you saw that tonight. I mean, one punch KO on Victor Ortiz. Victor Ortiz has never been knocked out. He's he quit, but he's never been knocked out. Mayweather knocked him out cold. I wouldn't necessarily say knocked out. Well, I wasn't. 
if, if Mayweather says I'm going to knock out Pacquiao, I would choose knockout. But if Mayweather doesn't explicitly say I'm going to knock he out, he probably this person, go for a decision. He usually goes for decisions. He he likes decision fights. Well, he likes to play it safe. I think I think you're right. He probably probably would try to play it safe. But I'm gonna say this: Pacquiao's got power, but he's got cumulative power. And he's got power when you don't see it coming. Mayweather is one of the sharpest fighters I've ever seen. He would see Pacquiao's shots coming. So I don't even think Pacquiao could really hurt him that bad. And like like Victor Ortiz, when he came inside, everyone's expecting. Here's what I can tell you what everyone who picked Ortiz was expecting to see. They were expecting to see Victor Ortiz demo him against the ropes and just go to town. Mayweather nullified it with one thing. Put his forearm out there and hold, and hold him inside and lean him back. Ortiz couldn't do anything to him. It's as simple as that. Pacquiao, all he does is throw lead lefts and double jab lefts and occasional right hook to the body. You really don't think Mayweather can adapt to that? I, I, mean, I think if Pacquiao does get he stays aggressive, he will get knocked out. That, that's, that's usually when Mayweather knocks somebody out. If they're usually, coming, yeah. it's when they're well, coming Pacquiao is always really aggressive. Strong. He doesn't know how to fight unaggressive. He, yeah. he always fights it's aggressive. It's when they're coming at him really strong and he counter punches for knockout. But he, he rarely... I think aggressively looks for knockout. Well, seen. tonight he was looking for aggressive. But tonight, I mean, he actually called out, I'm looking for a knockout. Well, he said, he said, we're both going for a knockout. And he, I mean, a lot of people were like, he ain't going to stand there toe to toe. Well, he did. I mean, and, and there's nothing Ortiz could do about it. And he had Ortiz back. Once, yeah, once Mayweather gets to that point in the fight, like he did in really third, the third round of this yeah. fight. But once he gets to that point of dominating, most fighters do go back back. Even if they are an aggressive fighter, they'll go to pass. Well, they, they don't know where to throw punches. They, they don't know where to throw punches. And I guarantee you, Victor Ortiz. And I think Pacquiao. And I think I like Victor Ortiz. I think he's a pretty damn good fighter. That fight against Andre Berto was one of my favorite fights I've ever watched by. And I'll give him all the props in the world. But I guarantee, I guarantee you, he knew he had, but he he wasn't sorry for doing that. He knew he was starting to lose that fight, and he had to do something to try to even it out. He was he was I mean he was getting dominated. He he couldn't do anything. He didn't know. He was just walking around like this. Stalking Mayweather, what he wasn't throwing punches like he was in the first round, because he, he didn't know where Floyd Mayweather was going to be. He was he he had no control of that fight. Floyd Mayweather was in full control. Floyd Mayweather sitting there, you know, just <laughs> taunting him. I mean, Could, couldn't do shit. Been a potty time, <laughs> except for he, he actually. Well, he, he was more than a punching bag. Well, and I think this fight will be a lot more exciting than Pacquiao Marquez. I don't think Pacquiao Marquez is going to be that good. And I'm not a Pacquiao hater, by the way. He's my third favorite fighter right now. Sergio Martinez. I love Sergio Martinez. I, I almost like him more than Floyd Mayweather sometimes. He's a dude. And, uh, I mean, Floyd's obviously my favorite. <laughs> Shit. I like winners. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I mean, I don't really know that. I didn't even know that much about boxing. I didn't know that inside. But well, I, Nathan, you called out You called out perfectly about the, the left hook. I will give him props. I didn't even see that. Nathan's like, you, because I, I was sitting there going, it, it was straight just, right. It's going to be straight right all you night. You showed me that video before him fighting another southpaw. I don't even know who it was. I think it was Abdullah. <laughs> yeah. And he, he would lead, he'll lead him with that left hook when he started turning right and he'll smash you with well, it. Once he got the person used to taking right hook from right, straight right to the face, he started falling up with the left hook. He, he left hook, especially when he got aggressive. And that's just the brilliance of Mayweather. And then once that point comes, you don't know what's coming, a right hand or a left hook, and you're getting hit with both of them. So that's our post-fight video, guys. We're about to run out of time. Uh, 